Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tease. I want to come on here and talk about the whole Breon King situation. Um, Breon King is a black 26-year-old uh, female, and she's also a school teacher. And recently, a video went viral of her with some white Texas police officers. She got pulled over by the police officer and eventually was slammed on the ground. But I think the craziest part of the video is when... He says that the reason why he basically treated her how he treated her is because African Americans have violent tendencies and that so many people are afraid of black people. This video is really disturbing. I want you guys to go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. 24 hours ago, Austin police released a video of an officer slamming a woman to the ground during an arrest. And now we're hearing from Breon King, the woman in that video. KXN's Leslie Rangel sat down today with King as she took us through those tense moments. I was taken aback. Honestly, I was taken aback. Confusion is what Breon King says was going through her mind as she was getting out of her car June 15th, 2015. He's standing next to my door. I was in the vehicle. You know, he asked me to get in the vehicle, um, but I guess my foot was out. And before I had a chance to comply, it escalated. The second grade Austin teacher taken to the ground. Oh, oh my God! I was afraid for my life. I have this man pulling me out my car, and I, I didn't understand why. So it was pure fear. I really wanted God to help me. I needed him to save me because I didn't know what was going to happen. King and the officer struggle. Then she's handcuffed and put in the back of a police car. New video shows a different view of what happened. The woman clearly traumatized moments after the arrest. He rings like he stole because that's ridiculous. He should not treat people like this. Then an officer begins to calm her down, and a conversation about race begins on her way to jail. Let me ask you this. Why, why are so many people are afraid of black people. That's what I want to figure out. I can I can give you I can give you a really good a really good idea why it might be that way. Violent tendency. And I want you to I want you to think about that. I wanted to understand the point of view, you know, that the officer was coming from, you know, well what is it? Why is it? You know, and you know, how can we make a change? And that's what I was trying to understand. You know, what is it that, you know, I need to do and what do we need to do as a community to make sure that we change these things in a positive way so that it doesn't continue to happen to people. And coming up tonight at six more on our interview with Breon King and why she says it took her so long to come forward with her story. Steve Adler now weighing in, calling that video outrageous, offensive and counter to the values of our community. He also commended Police Chief Art Acevedo for taking quick action. All right, so you guys just watched the video. As of yesterday, the Austin police, they have issued out an official apology. I want you guys to go and watch the video. Um, go ahead and check out this official apology from the police officers. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Uh, I just wanna start off by saying that uh, my heart was sickened and uh, saddened when I uh, first learned of this incident on July 19th. 2016. Uh, Rosemary Lindbergh, our district attorney, called me and advised me that uh, Tony Plesky from the Statesman was working on a story involving an incident that occurred on June 15, 2015, over a year ago, involving Ms. Brian King. First and foremost, let me just say this to Brian uh, King, her family, her friends, her neighbors, her supporters. Uh, I'm sorry that on the day that you were stopped for going 15 miles per hour, you were approached in a manner and treated in a manner that is not consistent with my, the expectations of this police chief, of most of the officers of this police department, uh, and, and, and most importantly, I think of all of us as human beings uh, in terms of how the way we should be talking to each other, treating one another, and especially as police officers have a sworn duty to try to uh, calm things down, approach incidents, approach people in a manner that enhances the probability that everyone uh, gets to go on with their day, especially over a speeding ticket, uh, and that we build relationships while we're doing our job, that sometimes we're selling products that nobody wants to buy, which is sometimes jail, sometimes it's tickets. But there's a way to do this job. And that day, we did not approach it anywhere near where we should have approached it. And I can tell you that I think that most police officers uh, would feel the same way 
And those that don't, when they review this tape, you need to really check your heart. So I want to apologize to Brianna and her family. Uh, this incident uh, uh, resulted in her being removed from her car by one of our officers. Uh, he actually asked her to get her feet back in the car. I'm not going to regurgitate the video. It really speaks for itself. Uh, but, you know, people, uh, life happens, and people, their minds are all over the place. You know, we have people going to lunch, people not paying attention, uh, people not understanding, and it's our job to do a much better job of communicating and using our words and our verbal communication skills to gain compliance before we ever go hands-on. All right, so you guys just saw that video. Renan King uh, basically took to social media. They're saying that they have cleared her of the resisting arrest charges. They dropped those charges. And now that this video has gone viral, she's definitely considering a lawsuit. And she's also happy that the police chief publicly apologized to her. You know, the situation is just sad. It's like, if it's not one thing, it's another. Um, it's a lot of stuff going on out here with the police and police brutality. Um, there's a lot of things going on. Um, we also had the situation down in Florida that happened the other day with Charles McKinney. So, you know, this just goes to show you further that people have to be very, very careful with how they deal with the police. It's like anything will set them off, you know, and nothing about this was justified. I'm glad it was caught on camera, and I'm glad that the video leaked. You know, the whole situation is just really, really crazy, you know, so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I'm sure she will file a lawsuit, as she should, you know, but once again, there's no punishment for the officer. The only thing that he's having to do is take some sensitivity training and things like that, but he's He's not being fired. He's not really being reprimanded. It's just really unfortunate that people look at you and they look at the color of your skin and they feel like that's an excuse for them to manhandle you. You know, at the end of the day, regardless of what he thinks about African Americans and their so-called violent tendencies, you don't take that mentality with you when dealing with people on an individual basis. You're supposed to treat somebody as an individual, not as a color. You know what I'm saying? And for him to have grabbed her and slammed her on the ground, that was just way too much. Especially being that she was not fighting him. And then his condescending comments in the in the police car, to me, was just disgusting. You know, saying that so many people are afraid of black people. Well, the same can be said about the police and how so many people are afraid of the police as well. Again, this police officer is painting a whole group of people with one brush, and I find that really, really unfortunate. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Brennan King. What do you guys think about the video and how do you feel about the chief of police in austin texas publicly apologizing to her do you think that's enough or do you feel like there should be a lawsuit filed and then also how do you feel about how they reprimanded the officer because he was not fired he's still able to keep his job so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces hey you guys it's your girl t make sure to subscribe like and share my videos you can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.